Assalamualaikum and very good morning to Dr. Nafisa and my fellow classmates. My name is Nur Atika Binti Zaira al -Zahar. And today, I'll be presented about the issues in human resource at healthcare departments uh, by choosing the issues which is staff shortage, turnover rates, as well as training and development. Okay, uh, human resource is a people who work for a company or organization and the department responsible for managing resources related to employee. So there are several rules of human resource in healthcare. The first one, we can managing job recruitment, selection and promotions. The second one, they develop and overseeing an employee benefits and wellness program. And the third one, developing, promoting and enforcing personal policies. And the next rule is promoting employee career development and job training and providing orientation program for a new hires. And the last one is providing guidance regarding disciplinary actions. Okay, let us proceed with the issues regarding human resource in healthcare. The first issue is about staff shortage. Okay, staff shortage is insufficiency of qualified candidates for employment. In Malaysia, at 2012, only 4.8% of hospitals experienced a shortage of nurses. But by 2016, that number has jumped to 32.9%. And by 2022, the Bureau of Labor Statistics project that there will be a total of 1.2 million vacancies for nursing positions in healthcare. So uh, there are several factors uh, uh, these issues happen. The first one is the limited capacity of nursing programs and there's just not enough supply to meet the growing demands of the positions. And the second factor is because there are a new limited uh, graduates to fill open the positions. Okay, the second issue is about turnover rates. The overrate is act of replacing an employee with a new employee. Parting between organizations and employee may consist of termination, retirements, death, intragency transfers, as well as resignations. In the past six years, average registered nurse and overrates has increased from 11.2% to 17.2%. There are several factors uh, why this happens. The first one is because millennials are looking for more than just a paycheck as they enter into the workforce. The second one, uh, there are several workloads and excessive job demands uh, that, um, that increase the turnover rates. The, sec the third issue is about training and development. Training is an educational process which involves the sharpening of skills, concepts, changing of attitudes and gaining more knowledge to enhance the performance of the employees. There are several factors why this happens. First is because the providing Career development employees desired can be costly, but the cost of hiring and training replacements are far more higher. The second one is because staff does not utilize input when they are going into the training programs. So it is so it becomes a uh, wasted. So there are several solutions to issues in human resources. The first one for the staff shortage, we can use a candidate pipeline. Candidate pipelines is a need to be future focused in workforce planning and have a stronger connection with the high schools, college and training centers to recruit the future healthcare worker. The second one, we can provide more job opening in healthcare sector. Uh, we, must, we can provide opportunity for many people to assign for the positions in healthcare. And the third one, we can advertise healthcare position in multiple mediums such as newspaper, social media as well as poster. For issues of turnover rates, we can hire candidates with the right set of skills and behavioral competencies. We can change the workplace to a better work environment so that an employee can become more motivated and we can recognize accomplishment within the organization. And the solution for training and development, we can test skills of employee after training program to know whether they focus on the training programs or not. And the second one, we can use in-house trainer to train employee to reduce cost of the training programs. And the third one, we can make a better or fun activity during the training program so that employee can enjoy the programs. Okay, for the conclusion, there are many issues that surrounding and surrounding human resource in healthcare management, from staff turnover rates, employee shortage, as well as training and developments. Healthcare management are responsible to tackle up those issues so that there is no problem when providing the service to the patients or customers, such as by providing more job openings, change to better workplace, and provide in-house trainer for our training programs. The management of human resources is essential to enable the delivery of efficient and effective medical services and to achieve patient satisfaction. So healthcare management must immediately think of the solution when facing these issues 
or analysis issues in the future. So that's all from me. Thank you.